Bay Reese, thanks to her special drive and an army of bikers. Bay News 9's Melanie Snow followed them on their journey from Lakeland to Bushnell. Hundreds of motorcycles revving their engines bound for the Florida National Cemetery. It's called the Ride for the Fallen in honor of soldiers who have served and died. The bikers arrive to a crowd of people, many taking pictures, standing with their kids beside American flags. Bill Norwood is a Vietnam vet. His brother fought in Korea and is buried here. Norwood brought his granddaughters for the wreath laying ceremony. I'm just proud to have my grandkids out here and uh, teaching them that freedom isn't free. Tiffany Weidlich's uncle died in 2008. He was a Marine. He was one of a kind. Um, he always had something to say. He was very intelligent. Um, he could always put a smile on your face. Thousands of graves undecorated on a foggy day, but not for long. More than 3,000 wreaths unloaded, each one carefully placed on every grave by the large crowd. Weidlich's family lay one wreath on their uncle's grave. Norwood and his grandchildren lay wreaths on several others, including his brothers. It's an emotional moment, honoring of the dead with a simple gesture, a tribute to their sacrifice. I can't let these heroes go unforgotten. The veterans have been there for us uh, back before I was born, and um, I honor my fathers, and my brothers, and things like that that have served in the country, served our country very well. Within minutes, most graves are adorned with a wreath, bright red ribbons contrasting against the green. Families embrace and remember. We live in the greatest nation going, and I just want to pass it on to them. In Bushnell, Melanie Snow, Bay News 9. Now all of those wreaths are made by hand and paid for through donations and hundreds of vehicles participated in the motorcade including motorcycle clubs from all over the state of Florida. The memory of a young girl who drowned last summer is being kept alive with a new charity. Kayla Barnes' mom and members of Gulf to Lake Church in Crystal River have been collecting coats and then giving them away to elementary kids. They call it Kayla's Coats. It's carrying on her name and 